So that's it for the dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, he looks okay. Probably will. I don't know. He'll look okay. Um, next one on the uh, the listings they showed is a uh, like I said, a lot of repaints here. Um, the next repaint is um, now we're going into Transformers Prime toys, uh, specifically Beast Hunters. Huh? Eh? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Uh, um, the next repaint is uh, Beast Hunters Knockout, who is in a very uh, Blue Streak S uh, paint job, in my opinion. Um, but it has a Decepticon logo, so it's automatically going to assume it's going to be a Decepticon. Um, a nice choice of paint, I'll say. It looks uh, very nice in the uh, in the vehicle mode. I like it in the vehicle mode. Uh, it has a very Prowl and Blue Streak S vehicle mode, in my opinion. Uh, robot mode looks good. I uh, like I said, I like the choices of paint that they and colors they used. Um, I like the nice uh, red shoulders that they have right here. Um, head sculpt uh, looks nice. I like the the gold right on his uh on the I don't think it's a horn but I, th I like it the the gold that goes through on the top of his forehead and uh I like the uh the red headlights uh I mean sorry not red headlights yellow headlights and uh looks pretty good I'm not sure if I'm going to pick it up I never owned the Beast Hunters knockout mold because I don't think the first release was meh it was okay I didn't like that green really weird choices of green um, I might pick it up. We might see. Uh, the next one on the list. Um, now, something I forgot to mention about Knockout. The ones I'm about to mention, uh, right after this one, I'm, right after uh, the one I'm about to talk about. Well, let me rephrase that. I am so sorry. I'm, I'm just a little bit tired right now. Um, the one you just saw from Knockout, we... I don't believe we we never gotten a repaint or remold anything. There's like certain beast hunters that never got it, and I'm pretty sure that Knockout's one of them. I could be completely wrong, but I'm going to assume that Knockout never got the Dakar treatment in the Transformers Go line. Same thing goes for the next one here, which is a uh, Dreadwing. Never got a a Dakar release from Transformers Go, so they're going to go for Transformers Adventure. I like this, uh, the look of the Dakar version. I've never owned the Hasbro version because I think the paint job on that was okay. The mold looks good, but I did not like that paint. It didn't, I wanted more of a blue S paint job. This gives me that blue S paint job, and I think it looks great. Uh, vehicle mode, I'm sorry, jet mode, looks uh looks good it could use some more paint on the wings i'm kind of surprised that there's no more not that much paint on there uh but the robot mode looks pretty good i really like the the nice uh, dark blue that went into that i like the nice black shoulders um surprisingly his weapon isn't painted at all it's just a straight black um kind of surprising that that's not painted uh hopefully it'll be painted um definitely going to pick that up because it looks really nice in the robot mode and I'm probably going to display it with the, my other Beast Hunter figures. So, very nice. Uh, probably going to get it. And the next one is we're going right back to the Robots in Disguise figures and this one is a repaint of the Optimus Prime. And when you're talking about repaints, Takara knows every single time when we get an Optimus Prime, we're going to repaint it into Nemesis Prime. And this is what they did here. It's, they repainted the R.I.D. Optimus Prime into Nemesis Prime, and it looks great. Like all other Nemesis Primes that we've gotten, the Masterpiece uh, uh, MP-10B, uh, the Black Convoy, the Universe Nemesis Prime, uh, the Armada Nemesis Prime, R.I.D. Scourge, most famously, they're all great. This one is no different. It looks great in the vehicle mode. Uh, robot mode looks great. I love the, the nice paint that went into it. Um, definitely gonna pick it up. There's there's a few Nemesis Primes that I haven't picked up. I did do a custom Transformers Prime Nemesis Prime because I did not really like the Dakar version that much. But you know, this is still a great one. Definitely gonna pick it up. Uh, looks great. Can't beat it. Nemesis Prime, no brainer. 
Um, and the last one that they had to reveal in a photo, not, uh, nonetheless, uh, is uh, actually someone that I was hoping that they would do. Um, again, we're going back to the, the uh, Transformers Go toy line where certain Beast Hunter toys did not get a Takara release. Uh, this particular figure, I own the Hasbro version, and I was hoping that the car version would do a little bit better. They did much better. And that, my friends, is the Transforms Prime Beast Hunters Ultra Magnus, the Voyager class. I really like the paint job that in the Takara version. It's a nice dark blue, very, very nice uh, gold into the forge. And I like the nice white bits on the shoulder pads. It looks great overall. It, I like the robot mode. Vehicle mode, there is a lot more paint that went into that vehicle mode. There is white on the front, uh, yellow headlights, red uh, red uh, window, uh, there is better t uh, painted tires, and it. I just love that dark blue that they chose. It just looks so much better for that mold, and I'm definitely going to pick this up. This is something that I was hoping Takara would do two years ago. And they're finally going to release it, and it looks better. I, I just like it better than the original. Not to say that the the mold is bad. I I like the mold. I it's one of my favorite figures from the Beast Hunters line, and uh, this is a no brainer. It's a Takara. They always do better with their paint ap paint applications. It's gonna. I'm definitely gonna get it. This is something that I really want, and definitely won't be on my shelf. Uh, so that's it for the reveals. The other things that they were uh, mentioned, but they never showed photos of, was uh, we are going to get a a repaint of Animated Lockdown. We're probably going to get a repaint of Bombshell Shrapnel, and we're getting a R.I.D. Drift. Those are the only things they haven't revealed yet in a photo, but they were just mentioned. So uh, very uh, very nice uh, reveals. Uh, the other two that I forgot to mention is they uh, also revealed One Step Changers of Fix It and Underbite. Um, Fix It, I'm I'm just going to get the Hasbro version because I don't really care for Takara. Same thing on Underbite, no differences, just a little bit light purple. And uh, that's it. That's all the reveals that they had for the Takara releases. Um, I'm actually really surprised that we are getting a lot of repaints. Um... I did not expect Takara to get, like, I knew they were going to do repaints, but I didn't expect them to, you know, to go into so many different toy lines to make this work. We're using R.I.D., we're using Generations, we're using Animated, Transformers Prime, be, uh, well, specifically Beast Hunters, and we are going to be using Combiner Wars because of Bombshell. We're using a lot of them. We're using a lot of toy lines just to make this work, and that bugs me, and also worries me because different different uh, molds from different toy lines means that there's going to be more repaints in this toy line, and I'm really worried. I hope that there's this is just the first wave, and it's just going to be like that. If not, then praises that these repaints are going to do well. So. That's it. Uh, if you want to pre-order these, uh, if you want to wait till they go on sale, you can go to Big Bad Toy Store. They are there right now, from what the from what the website's saying, and uh, I uh, I'm really excited for the Ultra Magnus. It's just a I'm just can't wait for that. It's gonna look great, and the Nemesis Prime. That's that's a great one too. Uh, so that's it. That's my, uh, that's it. Those are the, all the reveals. And, uh, very, very interesting. Um, can't wait for, like I said, Ultra Magnus Nemesis Prime. I'm hoping that they do well. Uh, hoping. And, uh, that is pretty much it. So, um, like I said before, uh, Bow Reviews, they will be doing much better in the other later dates because like I said those were just uh, those were just test runs and I uh, just wanted to see if they worked um, 
I did a... Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's really late. I did do another review, and that was a uh, Rip Claw. And if you guys want to see that review, I, it's in my YouTube channel. And uh, check it out. That's the third one. I, In my opinion, that's probably the best one I did. And uh, I'm really happy with that one. So please check it out if you... Uh, if you uh, like it, please like that video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more of Bow Reviews, Bow Talk, and the Bow Show in general. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Bow Show. How do you feel about Transformers Adventure? How do you feel about the repaints coming out? Uh, please, uh, if you want, want to uh, tell me about your opinions about the uh, Transformers Adventure toy line, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll be happy, happy, blech, I'll be happy to look over and see how you feel about the toy line. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my opinions about the Transformers Adventure toy line. And this is Francis Bow and Ultra Magnus. Please be good. Please, please. Hmm. Only took them two years. I'm gonna go now. Two years. Two years?